Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Um, well, let's go back to last week then, because I haven't spoken to you for a while, and I, I was going to get your thoughts on uh, Joyce and Chisora, uh, your big mate Joyce, who you're very, very, you know very well, but on a personal level as well. Yeah. Um, were you surprised at Chisora and the way he approached that that fight? No, not, not one bit surprised at Derek's the way Derek Derek approached the fight. Um, I spoke to Derek yesterday or the day before he faced he FaceTime. He was having his bike swimming pool. Um, look. Derek Chisora is not a normal. He's, he's he's not human. He just isn't human at all. He isn't, is he? He's not a human. He's not a normal. Like he's just legend gets thrown around a lot, doesn't it? Like in sports, but Derek Chisora is a legend of British boxing. He's a legend. He's a he's the last of the, the old school. Like you look at his record, who he's boxed: Vitali Klitschko, Tyson Fury three times. Uh, Joe Joyce, Dillian White twice. Um, I'm, I know I'm probably missing people off that list as well. Who left twice? Like Derek Chisora boxes everyone and anyone, and he puts his balls, heart, sweat, everything on the line. I can't speak any more highly. I, I can't speak higher of of a of a fighter because he really is. He truly is a throwback. And when Derek Chisora does let pack in like what everybody wants him to do but he's not going to listen but when he eventually does after these two fights he will be missed sorely because he's given the fans such great nights now moving on to joe um look it's hard for me to 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 watch i'm still yet to watch since i've obviously not worked with joe listen i speak to joe J joe's my brother i love him to pieces but i'm yet to watch a fight since i've not been with him like do you understand what that makes does that make sense i'm yet to watch a fight now when adam boxed i didn't really want to watch the fight if i'm honest with you i didn't want to watch the fight because i knew it's going to be a grueling fight because i like Derek as well and i knew it was going to be a, a, like one of them fights where you watch it through 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 your hands um because look it's hard for me to speak on joe and like he's had the ways but he's not the same man andy he isn't the same man not the the, the man i was around he's not the same guy like like he's not he just isn't the same guy he's still got it in here he's 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 still tough he's still so tough why do you think that is sam why do you think he's not the same guy no like he's 39 he's 39 coming in september i don't know the zhang fight the first zhang fight took a lot out of him um but look it's like it's, it's, it's i don't know it's just, it's so hard because it's so hard to me to say, oh, yeah, Joe shouldn't bo box anymore because I just want him to be healthy and happy. Genuinely, I want him to be healthy and happy. Um, it's up for him to decide and his management and Adam to, to decide. But I, I don't want to see Joe, like, not at his best. Do you know what I mean? It's very hard because I remember, listen, I've been around Joe for years and years and see what he does to people, inspiring how he performs on fight. Like, look, look at the fight against Dubois. Beat him with a jab, just eat easily. Beat him with a jab, great against Parker, and then I don't know. I, I just don't know. It's hard. It's it, it really, it really is hard. But all you can do is is you look at the career Joe's had on paper. It's a fantastic career. It really is. It's a fantastic career, uh, and you just got to commend the two, the two, the two fights, the the two guys that that went in the ring and and boxed like that. But Derek Chisora at the age of forty looked like he was going to be knocked out from round two onwards, pulls out a bat out of his pocket in the round 10, was it, with with, with Joe? It's a bit of a flash round knockdown. Nine, round nine, round nine. Yeah, round nine. Bit of a bit of a flash knockdown, but I thought he was a deserved winner in a very, very uh, tough, gruelling, hard fight between two double hard bastards. Definitely, I mean, I agree. And I would, for Joyce, though, when I, I spoke about with this with Joe Pugh, the Tony Yoko fight to redeem that silver medal. Does that make sense? Yeah, look, I said it. I said it. To, I, I, I said it to somebody who, who um, I gave my opinion on what with Joe, as I always do. But if he insists on, if Joe insists on carrying on, the only fight to make for Joe is the is the is the Tony Yoko fight because Tony Yoko's on a bad run of form, which everybody knows. I know he came back and won the other day. Joe's lost three out of his last four fights. It's the fight. It's the only. It's the only fight to to make. But I want Joe to be healthy and happy. Honestly, I just want him to be healthy, safe, and 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 uh, and happy. 
Mm-hmm. But hopefully he, he makes the right choice for his career because I like Joe. He's a big, friendly giant, man. One of the nicest guys you can ever meet on this One planet. of the best guys you'll ever meet in your life. Definitely. I totally agree with you. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.